Good day to you people, my name is Thomas and welcome back to some more The Cat Lady. So, last time we left off, we were somehow kidnapped by a psy... Well, some psycho couple and I'm playing as the cat at the moment. So, I'm guessing we have to go and save... Oh yeah, we're going to save Susan. I'm a coming, my darling. Jesus! Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Jump in. The way the cat is walking, and jeez, and especially in theme with the music. Okay, that's enough. Um, oh, never mind. It just suddenly stopped. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, now what? Hey there. Gorgeous. Okay. I see my old lady brought the bleach. Again. What a shame. I really liked your eyes. <laughs> it could have been a start of something uh, very exciting for us. If you know what I mean. <laughs> no, thank you. She does that every single time. What do they call it? Stop. Please stop. Trust issues. <laughs> That's it. Well, S never mind. Plenty more fish in the sea. I I'm not too fussy, but even I have some standards. I ain't gonna touch a bird like you, I gotta be honest, girl. You look like shit. <laughs> but I wouldn't want you to think I'm not a kind man. Uh, uh, plenty of time until dinner, and you're in pain, so... So... I've brought something to end your suffering. Think of it as an option. Okay. I've got this gun here. It's one of my favourites. There's... Just one bullet in the chamber. One bullet in the Arch chamber. Got it. Oh. You'd be long dead before you'd feel any pain. Sounds good, doesn't it? I mean, it's just just an idea, you know. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, right. Ah, uh, of course. You can't see it. That bleach turns your eyes to nothing but jelly. Ugh. Oh. Um, so I'll just leave it for you here. Feel free to use it. That that bullet's meant for you anyway. Okay, I think you're... I'd better go now. We won't want to get caught red-handed again, would we? You naughty minx. What? Oh, come on. Oh. What was that? You can't reach it. Well, what did you expect? Life's a real fucker sometimes. Okay. Key. Sw swallow. Oh, hello. Okay, so I can't go there. Um, what do I do then? No, don't! Um... Come on, lean! There we go. I just, I just can't get over his walk over to the music. 
<laughs> oh my god. Um... Now I'm stuck again. Where do I go? Hmm. Um. Hey, let's go back for a sec. Maybe, if, maybe there's something I missed. Can't go anywhere else, so spit out. N no. Okay, jeez, you don't have to, you know, scare the living Schmidt out of me. <coughs> oh my throat. Please go back to attending your gun, please. Come on! Okay. Okay, so what if I spit it up? Up. What? Who's this? My eyes. I can't. I can't see a thing. That bitch. A key. Who are you? Say something. Anything. I... I should be able to unlock the handcuffs now. But how? I can't see... Wait, wait. Um, wait, how can you reach for the key if... Uh, um, never mind. I don't know, but... Okay. Oh, um... Oh, I'm moving whilst blind. Gun? Examine. The gun! That idiot left his gun! I think I'll take the gun. No! No, no, no! I dropped it! Oh, great. Where is it? Where the hell is it? Oh, oh great. Now I've got to search for it. The floor. Search. I've got it. Crap, now I can't see a bloody thing. Um. Where do I go? I can't see a thing. Shoot yourself. I'm just going to quickly save in case if I fuck up something. Think, uh, da da da. Okay, so what if I shoot myself? I'm sorry, Mitzi. I have to break my promise. But, I'm immortal, so I can't die. Oh! Wait, what? Hang on a minute! No, 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 no! Hang on a minute! Hang on- Oh, hang on. Death is nothing. You have slipped a- Oh, hello. Hope you don't mind creepy posters. 
Oh, 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 okay. It's your room. Ah, ha, ha. like with it, but I definitely prefer this to fairies, rainbows, and pink unicorns. Did you make these? Oh, okay. No. My boyfriend made them. Some of them, anyway. So, Miss Ashworth, I happen to have a bottle of wine in my bag. I was going to leave it to Robert, but I forgot all about it. Robert? The guy with the rats? Oh, yes. Of course. So, shall we have a drink, then? We could get to know each other a bit more. I know, I promise I won't get in the way. And, I mean, you don't have to if you don't feel like it. But since we're going to live together for a little while, it won't hurt if we talk to each other, will it? Nah. I want to be careful about her. Are you sure you can drink in your condition? It won't make me any worse, that's for sure. Oh, okay. I any cancer medication. I feel good. The way I see it, I haven't got much time left, so I might as well make the most of it. That makes sense, I suppose. We can have a drink if you like. Great! I'll bring the wine! Oh, damn. It's one of those bottles with a cork. Have you got a bottle opener, Miss Ashworth? In the kitchen. I'll go get it, shall I? Yes, please. And while you're there, could you get a couple of glasses, too? Okay. Okay. Kitchen, kitchen, up to get the kitchen, up to get the kitchen. Cabinet, take wine glasses. One for me and one for Mitzi. And then go and get some wine in the kitchen. Uh, wine. Oh, take corkscrew. Close cupboard. And then go to Mitzi and have ourselves a nice drink of wine. Only the finest in France. I don't know if it's from France or Italy. Spare bedroom. Enter. I got the corkscrews and the glasses. So let's, um... Wine glasses. Great. It is a corkscrew. And I do have it right here. I should probably just give it to Mitzi, okay? There you go. Let's get that bottle open. All right. That's all we need. Oh, Miss Ashworth, I really must say this before we start. Yeah. I promise I won't cut your throat when you're asleep. <laughs> Very funny. No, I mean it. Oh. It's fine. But just so you know, I always sleep with my eyes open. <laughs> because I'm immortal. <laughs> so, oh, hello. So, the big C want to talk about it. Oh, it's not raining anymore. How are you planning to find this guy? Um. Ooh. Hmm. Let's go for the bottom one. How are you planning to find this guy? I don't know yet. A bit of detective work, perhaps. It shouldn't be that hard, really. There are only eight apartments here. One is yours. That leaves us with seven. I was hoping that you could give me a hand, actually. You know some of your neighbors, don't you? Not many. I never really cared about them. They changed over the years, too. You probably also figured by now that this is not the sort of place where new neighbors are greeted with a freshly baked cake. You see a new face, you give them a blank stare as you pass them in the hall, and you forget about them a minute later. That bad, eh? Well, there's that bull guy who lives above me in flat five. He came here recently to shout in my face. He's a nasty piece of work, but I really don't think he's the person you're looking for. What does he do for a living? I think he's a train driver. I can't imagine somehow that my guy would be a train driver. Okay, that's good. Leaves us with just six. Mm -hmm. Anyone else you know? I'd have to think. 
you know, maybe not tonight. Let's just talk about something else, okay? I have plenty of time. There's no need to rush this. Maybe tomorrow we could sit down together and make a plan. I could draw a simple map of the building, and with your help, mark down who lives where? Sounds good to me, Mitzi. Hmm. Um. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Oh well, I don't mind rain. Sometimes I even like it. But according to weather forecast, there's a nasty fog coming. Now that I'm actually scared of. I got mm -hmm. lost in a fog once when I was just nine or ten. I remember I sat under a tree crying, thinking some monster would appear right in front of me and drag me away. But now that you're a big girl, you know there are no monsters. Yeah? How do you know? I've never seen one, or nor anyone else has. The only monsters are us, murders, rapists, arsonists. Maybe you're right, I will believe in them when I see one. Um, I want to be... Ah, uh, what one? I've never seen one, nor has anyone else. The only monsters are us. Maybe you're right. I will believe in them when I see one. Just go for the bottom one, I suppose. Maybe you're right. I will believe in them when I see one. With this fog approaching fast, you might be in luck, Miss Ashworth. Hmm. I am so glad I'm not spending another night outside. I might be a big girl now, but... There will always be a part of me that is frightened, I guess. Well, of course. You know they actually have a name for it. Ooh. It's called homiclophobia. Fear of fog. We are living in crazy times, Mitzi. But that's the only option, so why not? <laughs> so, the big C. Want to talk about it? Well, to be honest, I didn't really want to tell you about it like that. A very difficult position, I know. It's just that I was really desperate to get this room. I hope you can understand. This is the last and most important thing I must do before my time is up. It's fine. You seem all right. It's just I find it hard to trust people these days. Maybe it's time I opened my eyes to see others have problems too. Some, like yourself, even bigger than mine. What kind of cancer is it? Do you mind me asking? Brain tumor. The name is glioblastoma. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yep, they're all girls, the way I imagine it. Just look at their names. <laughs> Lymphoma, melanoma, myeloma, leukemia, sarcoma. Each of them a fucking goddess of death. Beautiful and ruthless. <laughs> Hmm, you might just be right about that, Mitzi. I used to be a nurse. I know a few things about cancer. Oh! And I know Glioblastoma. She's a real bitch. <laughs> yeah. And yet she gets to uh. the prom queen before night ends, while I disappear down the back exit. <laughs> it's really funny. Oh. It's really funny how you they joke about you. it. But that was six months ago, so... Yeah. Not awfully long. Oh, four months left. Is there anything? They've tried. I'm sorry. Aww. Yeah. So am I. Do you want to talk about something else? That's the only thing, so... You mentioned a boyfriend. Tell me something about him. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about him. Oh boy, here we go. Name's Jack. Jack's up to Kai? He's dead. Oh, no, not him. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> Ashworth, are you sure you want to listen about my miserable life? I don't want to bring you down. These aren't happy stories. Nah, don't worry. I'm, I'll... <laughs> I'm not a happy stories kind of person. I'm See? I'm sure you've noticed by now. I guess so. <laughs> anyway, I suppose I would have had to tell you about Jack sooner or later. After all, he is the main reason I'm here. I just know where to start. Okay, tell me how you two met. How did he take the news about your cancer? Jack made those pictures on your wall. Was he an artist? How did he die? 
I think it's better if we start off with something happy, then go into the more darker subjects. So, let's go for something happy. Tell me how you two met. Oh, we knew each other for like, forever. We grew up on the same street. Hmm. It's funny how we seem to be made for each other. Perfect match. I always knew he was the guy for me, and I'm sure he never doubted that either. Jack was absolutely crazy about me. We thought one day we would marry, have children, be happy. I never had many friends because I had Jack. I didn't need anybody else. You know, if there's one thing I'm really grateful for in my life, it's that I got to experience this pure, perfect love. <laughs> Too bad it didn't last, though. I've been very lucky. Yeah. Okay, how did he take the news about the cancer? Um, Jack made those pictures on the wall. Is he an artist? Jack made those pictures on your wall. Was he an artist? He always liked all kinds of morbid stuff, whether it was music, movies, paintings. So do I, really. We had that in common, amongst other things. Like sex. I'd say it's depressing to listen to sad songs or watch sad films, but I never felt that way. And yet, you are scared of fog. <laughs> oh, that's different. Oh, uh, oh, uh, the fog is coming! I see the fog! I see the fog! I see the Beautiful. fog, it's coming, I you can see it. You your mind, Mitzi. No, honestly, there is a certain indescribable beauty in sadness. Just like there's beauty in the grey and ugly winter morning when you look past the obvious and notice what others can't see. You must love my apartment, then. <laughs> it's like ugly took a vacation here and never went home again. Okay, how did he, um... How did he take the news about your cancer? How did he take the news about your cancer? He thought I was joking at first. Ooh. He and he got really angry. Oh. I told him I was serious, but he still wouldn't believe me. Oh. It was our first and only fight. Oh. Oh. No. His guitar of all things was the worst. Oh no. He loved that guitar. Why did he break it? Ah, oh, God. Absolutely furious. Great way to ruin the love story. He walked out on me that night, and when he came back the next day, he was different. Oh boy, he had to try surgery and chemotherapy. I didn't really want those things, but I did the chemo for him. It didn't help. It just made me feel sick all the time. Oh. I felt trapped in this strange place where nothing that happened around me seemed real. Maybe that's why I didn't see what my cancer was doing to Jack, and it was destroying him as well. He changed. Oh no. He became obsessed with death. Oh. It seemed death was all he ever thought about, even though it was me, not him, who was supposed to die. Well, the last question. How did Jackie boy die? How did he die? How did Jack die? Having a cigarette? He was so distant in the last few weeks before. Before he died. What I didn't know was that he kept looking for something. I don't think he even knew what exactly. Mm. But it eventually found him. Or rather, he found him. Oh, he was murdered! There are those forums online, you know? About all sorts of stuff. Fishing, computer games, horses, gambling addictions. Everything, really. Oh. Accidentally, Jack stumbled upon one about suicide. Uh oh. There's a guy there. Calls himself the Eye of Adam. He's a fucking god on that forum. It's like a failed suicide club. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. To listen to their stories and, and how they cope with their lives. You okay? I have Adam is an advocate of death. He dwells on human weakness. Oh. His job is to plant an idea. To give them a reason to die and tell them how to do it. Once and for good. Oh, so Jack committed Jack suicide. Oh no. He knew he was completely brainwashed. 
Maybe that's why she's so. Okay, he sat down with me and tried to explain his perfect solution. Ah. It was the Romeo and Juliet kind of scenario. We were both to die together in each other's arms. It was uh. supposed to be a quick and foolproof death. There was no chance we would have been saved. All thanks to the eye of Adam, who created a tool for perfect suicide. He told me it was very simple. All oh. we needed were two easily accessible household chemicals, which combined together create gas called hydrogen sulfide that kills you within a couple of minutes. But it failed to affect you. He was fucking nuts, of course. But he just wouldn't give up. Oh. He reasoned with me, and he begged, and eventually just kept screaming at me. I figured it was his crazy idea of a modern romance. But it was downright tacky and just wrong. Finally, he said he would get everything ready and wait for me in our special place at dawn. Oh. Right in the morning. Don't be late. Those were his last words he said to me. Then he stormed out. I cried for hours, thinking I, I didn't deserve all that from the person I love most in the whole world. A few times I even tried to persuade myself that maybe he was right and I should do it. I just couldn't. I eventually fell asleep. I didn't plan it. My head was killing me. I was so tired. I woke up suddenly. I could see the sun rising out my window. It was nearly five. In utter panic, I threw myself off the bed and ran out the door. I needed to stop him. I needed to get there before it was too late. Oh, but you didn't. But right there in my bedroom. Before I even left. I already knew it was. When I arrived at our special place, it was already bright. We used to go there in the past. Drink wine. Sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd. Sometimes make love in Jack's car. <laughs> <It wasn't really laughs> what? At least you got laid! <laughs> about that old park lot. But tell us there was. Because there that's was where we had family. sex! It was quiet. It was safe. To have sex! After that day, I've never gone there again. Oh. Oh, I'm playing as Mitzi now. Maybe the reason why she... Okay. Maybe the reason why she came to our apartment is because she wants to find the user of um, the Eye of Adam so he, she can kill him or do whatever needs to be done, I suppose. Could you stop doing that, please? It hurts my ears. Could you stop? Oh, jeez! Oh, hang on. Poison gas inside. Oh. Um. I'll just go for the first one because I don't want to make her feel even more sad. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. He loved you so much. He couldn't bear the thought of living without you. And that guy. The Eye of Adam. I'm not surprised you want to find him. I know I would. Because he might I'm be a sure parasite! I that you only want to talk to him. But hey, that's none of my business. Could it be that pest detective if this happened to thing? Me. Whatever. Good to know. But Whatever. I really just want to talk. I want to face Jack's killer and tell him what he's done to me. You know, the funny part is that he actually told me where he lives. Ooh. He wants to meet me. Would you believe that? How come? Well, this kind of thing he does is called trolling on the internet. <laughs> this is usually a form of extreme bullying, psychological cruelty. Those who are clever enough say, don't feed the troll. Don't talk to them. It... It only makes it worse if you show any interest in them at all. And I have Adam attention. He craves attention. He's a hungry troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. He wouldn't believe me at first. But trolls are always hungry. And I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? Oh dear me. I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. 
I wish he'd given you his door number, though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later, I'll find him. Oh, I bet you will. Um, how strong is that gas? How strong is that gas? Extremely deadly, it turns out. It kills in minutes. It's that stinky stuff that smells like rotten eggs, you know? At high concentrations, it can knock down an elephant. Were there signs, um... <clears throat> there were signs on the car windows? There were signs on the car windows. Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. So we posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door, and that's not the point. The idea is to die willingly and with clear mind, to prepare for it, to embrace it. Jesus. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. It sounds almost like a sect. This guy knows how to hide. The police can't be bothered to make an effort. Oh. It's been three months to track him down. Now I'm finally so close, I can almost smell that fucker. Hmm. What were those two chemical products? What are those two chemical products? Well, I... I'm not sure if you want to know that. Oh. I well, it. well, it doesn't matter. I'm immortal. Because I'm a fucking suicidal maniac. Is that it? No, Ms. Archworth. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Maybe to some extent. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with recovering. You've only just come back from the hospital. Mm. What it was that made you do it? You proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam does. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how could I? Hmm. Very nice music in the background. <laughs> what if I promise to you I will never do it again? I've learned my lesson. Dying is not for me. Those who want to die will always find a w way to do it. I want to make a promise to her. What if I promise to you I will never do it again? Oh, wait, no, I already broke that promise. Whoops! <laughs> okay. Alright. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. You don't keep your promise, Miss Ashworth. Oh. I'll find you in hell and kick your lying ass for breaking my already broken heart. You can't kick my ass when I'm dead. I'll soon be dead too, Miss Ashworth. So, yeah, I swear I will do it. I don't think so. You'll go to heaven, you muppet. <laughs> the recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. What? Any good housewife can make it in a blast. Oh, I'm back. Okay. Okay, so we shot ourselves, so now we're back alive. Stairs. Cat. A cat grabber. That could be useful. Uh, door. Sneaking. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay, so that's why I can find him. What's up here? Oh. Okay, ba 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 Oh, great. Now I've got this bloody sound. Save in case I fuck anything up. Tom six. Saving. Thank you. Okay, so now we got a cat grabber. I suppose we gotta find something. Well, we gotta make a weapon or some kind. Uh, what's in here? Uh, radio examine. They don't make them like this anymore. Window. Look outside. All I can see is the fog. I can never find my way home. Oh, I don't like that. So far, examine. It's old, like everything in this house. There's ca cobwebs and dust all over it. Oh God, that noise! Not over that. Got to figure out how to get out of here. Oh, God, that noise. Window. Look outside. Yeah, yeah. What's this? Switch on. 
Hmm, nothing happens. Oh no, 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 no! I should look for a new one. Oh god, no, 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 no. Lamp, no. Oh god. Oh dear god. Okay, I can't seem to go up the stairs. Okay, whatever's up there, I should probably stay out of it. Lamp, stairs, no, not yet. What was it? Maybe I can find something in the kitchen. Bottles. Empty wine bottles. They like a drink. There's something in the bottle of red with your medium rare cat steak. Oh. Cooker. Examine. This is where she cooks. Dirty pan. Still think of an old cat stew. Knives. Take a knife. Thank you. Stink. Sammy. I don't think she washes up very often. Fridge. Open. The door is stuck. Maybe there's something better. I'm not sure what I want to know what's inside. <laughs> oh, I, I don't want to know either. Okay, what else have we got? Table. Get under. I don't need to hide at the moment. But I definitely know where to... Painting. Take. I don't know why I'm ta taking a painting, but okay. Oh, wait. Hang on a minute. Oh. Oh. I think there might be something beneath that. So I need to find a screw of some kind. This is interesting. What's in here? Oh. Well, well. Boxes full of bleach. Oh. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. This reminds me of something. What? The first thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Oh, okay. Not just uh, we're going to gas the house. Skin itchy. Okay, you need a hard bottle of. Oh. What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got to check what's going on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this fog. Fine. I'll go on my own then. Oh! Oh! Oh, I bet this is how we get kidnapped by the pest control person! It makes sense! Okay! Out into the, um... Uh, ground floor, I suppose. Down we go! Down we go! Oh, down we go! Mailbox. Open. No mail for Susan Asher. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see what's outside. Oh, God. Oh, that's the... Yeah. Pest. I can't move. Um... Can't seem to... What? 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 I don't know what is happening. I don't know what is happening. Go. Okay. Bloody fog. Can't see a thing. Ah, there's the pest control person. Getting murdered. Two feet away, and not a soul would notice. Oh, it's you. Hi. Yeah, you're gonna kill me. Or kidnap me. Whatever you wanna do. Whatever you're gonna always do. Always look on the right side, they say. And I always do. Yeah, you gotta kidnap me. Come on. Do what you need to do. Come on. Come on. Not a talkative type, are you? What's your name, sweetheart? Oh, don't call me that. Do not call it me that. It's none of your business. Don't be such a scary cat, sweetheart. Oh, don't do that. You're Susan, aren't you? What? A kind man had described to me what you look like. Oh, did the bald man just say... What, what can I say? It was spot on. What do you want? I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. Oh, I sure. Call, you see, there's a cat problem. 
and apparently some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. He called the pest control anyways, that bloody bastard. Um. A crazy cat lady called Susan, I was told. Okay. Yep, yeah, I can see. I'll probably cut out uh, the parts where it's just taking too long. Now, you ain't gonna like it, sweetheart, but I'm taking you for a ride. <laughs> oh, okay! I see what you mean! And that's where I am, apparently. Okay, now I'm back to normal. Enter. Oh, this is just lovely. Heck is this? Bathtub. Is this where they wash? This water looks like very odd. Like a mixture of dirty, melted fat, or whatever. Lawn mower. What's it doing in the bath? It's all rusted and covered in slime. Peek in. Oh! 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 Okay! Oh! 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 Okay! Okay! Oh no! Okay! I'll, um... Um, um... Okay. Look around the room. Piles of meat. Could it be humans? Oh, no! Oh, they're cannibals! Oh, God. I should probably find something useful on those shelves, but at first I need her to go away. Or I could just kill her. I could kill her with a knife. Uh, use. Hmm. No, this is a terribly bit bad weapon. Blunt. Busted piece of crap. Okay, so it doesn't work. Um, uh, stand. Nah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so that's where she is. Okay, I need to make it go away first. Uh, table. Wonder if there's anything upstairs I could use. Uh, lamp. Oh, remo remo it's too hot. I can't touch it. I need some open. Yeah, it looks like um, there's going to be. Hidden I'll leave it for someone else to discover. I'm in enough trouble already. Oh, okay. Main door. Enter. Oh, okay. So this is the front door. Small window. Examine. Glass on the small side of the window is broken. So this is where the drift is coming through. Inside. Oh, never mind. Van. Search the back of the van. I'm almost glad I was unconscious when he brought me in here, though. The window, I can see there's small animal mess and blood everywhere. But the door is locked. I wonder if there's a, if there's a spare key somewhere. Uh, driver's side window. Look at the driver's locked, but I can see a phone in the driver's seat. Maybe I could call for help and get a hold of it somehow. Hmm. Front door. Loose bricks. Pull out. Damage as it is, I can, I can't quite pull out with just my fingers. Do these come in use? I'm sure I can find a better use for it. Oh wait, 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 wait. We could use to get that lamp bulb. Okay, lamp cap grabber, use. Come on, use it for the goddamn light bulb. Fine, if you don't want to do that, fine. That's perfectly fine. I don't really mean to be rude, but okay. There are only two entrances up there. I should probably stick to the ground floor for now. Okay. Well. Hmm. This. Cellar door. Maybe I can use the knife to, um, kill the person. Use. Bucket. Examine. Cinematic bucket. Boom. Look at the gun locker. Collected guns supposed to be his passion. If only I could reach to one of them. But they're all right, all right next to him. I'll wake him up for sure. Look at control, ma'am. He's fast asleep. Maybe he's drunk or on drugs. Regardless of that, I have no choice in a, um, I have no chance in a fight with this guy. He's fast and strong and insane. But if he's not the, but he's not the sharpest tool in the box, I'll have to use my wit, my wits to get rid of him. Got room. This must be his private room. 
He sits here all day playing with his guns while ugly Betty upstairs cooks his food. What a charming couple. Look at the window. There's a cold draft coming through the broken window. Huh. I shouldn't get too close. He might wake up. Just slit his throat! You've got a knife! Can I use it? I'm sure I can find a better use for it. Okay, fine. Jesus Christ, that's fine. Okay, so we can't really... Hmm... Climb the stairs? Well, at the moment, I'm pretty much stuck, and I think I'm pretty much going to ep end this uh, episode here. Sorry if it was a little bit too boring for you, but... I am going to, uh, I think I've got enough recording through the, um, the talks and, uh, pretty much the, just solving some of the puzzles, I guess. But anyways, um, I'll end it here, so, Tom 7, and I guess that's where we'll end it. So, if, um, you enjoyed this episode, why don't you like, comment, favor, and, um, subscribe to see more content like this, and I'll see you all in the, I've got the hiccups, <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.